Hello everybody. Welcome to episode 17 of the Power Sex Sex Cast. Let's know. I'm your host, Yo. Sexy Colin. Stop. And with me as always is Sexy Duncan. I don't like this at all. Would you rather be called Daddy Duncan? No. Dom Daddy Duncan? No. Big Daddy Duncan? Stop. Sexy Dunkaroo? <laughs> What sexy things have you been up to this week? <laughs> are we just going to get right into our weeks or are we just going to go into that it, little it, bit? If you had a sexy week, what, what I, sexy things I, did you do this I week? Did nothing. Any porn stories? No. no. Any, any sexual stories? No, no. Okay, I got one. I'm going to go into the sex first, Duncan. i got to put the sex up front. Why... Like I get the whole sex sells things, and you know, one of our, our our one of our videos, weird snake sex, had a lot of views. But isn't this kind of beating a dead horse? Yes, that's the point. So we're just look. If this podcast can get as many views as that one snake pass episode, well, actually a little more because the podcasts usually do better. Yeah. I'm gonna change this to the sex cast Let's permanently. Go. No, this is a bad idea. You ever watch shaming porn? No. Came across some the other day. I don't get it. Like, I, tr- I, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I'm being all shy about it, but I, I don't remember how I came across it. I imagine I was watching porn. But I don't think, like, shame was in the title. It just turned into that. And it was very awkward. It just... Have you... Okay, have you ever tried to watch a kink that is not yours? Just to be like... I get it? Or I don't get it? I mean... There are some kinks that I just don't get. Go on. And then... I don't... I... I usually have two reactions. It's like, this is not my kink. Or... Sweet mother of God, get me out of here. Go on. I'm not it. No. Well, we've talked about it before. And it was in the episode of Snake Pass. And I was talking to you about it again yesterday. That that knee fetish porn really fucked up my whole life. <laughs> it's a rough time to, yep. to be... Uh... It, it, the, the weather's getting warmer, the shorts and the skirts are, are you know, all over the place, and all I do is look at people's knees, and it, I, that's how much it scarred me. I need to look at everyone's knees to make sure no one has inflated knees. I'm pretty sure if they have inflated knees, something's wrong. Yeah, they have a knee fetish. That's what's wrong. I was going to say a broken knee. Eh, that looks different. Oh? It's all... Well, I I showed you the knee fetish porn. It just looks like your knees have breasts. They have under under boob on your knee. At least if you break your knee, it kind of swells up pretty evenly. I don't understand the difference. All right, well, as uh, not very uh, sexual people... What non-sex related things have you been up to in these past two weeks? Um, painting miniatures. As far away from sex as you get. Um, yeah. That's about it? Uh, well, I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto. Getting ready for the gun running expansion coming out literally this Tuesday. I was going to say, I know it's soon, because I'm seeing more and more advertisements yeah, for it. Yeah, no, they, they were like, hey, you know what's a good time to drop a uh, an expansion to, an, to a game? Like, right during E3's press conference, an E3 press conference. Well, if it's Tuesday, it would be after all of the conferences. Yeah. So, still not a great time. No. I think they'd wait a week. Well, everyone was like, they're going to do it be- a week before. Yeah, that'd be fine too. That'd be fine too, but uh, I guess Rockstar is just like, you know what? Fuck it. Well, they've always done whatever they want. Yeah. And then people 
kind of gravitate towards them because it's like um, it's rock star. Well, I mean, they they pretty much exclusively put out good games. Yeah, there, there's been some misses in the earlier earlier days, but the last few oh, been pretty the, good. The, they're they're like Blizzard when they drop something, people listen. Yeah. Well, it helps that. I mean, I don't know how many concurrent players GTA Online has, but I imagine it's still in the millions. Yeah. Well, it's enough that, you know, shark cards are making them a fucking mint. <laughs> and that's, they're probably going to do some sort of uh, in-game currency for Red Dead 2. I don't know if I like that. Well, that's how uh, they're president only be two. Only because I'll, I'll be playing Red Dead 2, yeah. probably. Online? Maybe. If it's as exciting as GTA Online is, <clears throat> just in the West, yes. But if it's just like... Didn't the first one have online and it was just like Team Deathmatch? I don't think it did. It did in my head. I know some cowboy game had it, and it was like it's just deathmatch, so it could have online because it w- it came out at that time that everything needed to have on yeah. online and stories and single players were suffering because of it. No, other than that, uh, painting miniatures, playing Grand Theft Auto, trying to get some money so I can partake in some of the new DLC that's coming um I got to a point in Dark Souls 3 Mm -hmm. where I had beat the pontiff I had beat the giant I had beat Aldridge the devourer oh Aldridge Aldridge and then they're then they're like okay you did all that um we're going to teleport you to back to uh, the high wall. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. And then the lady who gave, gave me the one of the covenants was just lying on the floor dying. And I'm like, did, I didn't do that, did I? She's just dying. Mm-hmm. And then the dancer comes down. Yep. And I don't think... No, wait, Pontiff still pissed me off the most, because I think I spent 16 hours just trying to fight him. I can't say what boss, in, in, and I'm counting all of the Souls games, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, and the Three Dark Souls. I can't say which one gave me the most trouble. I know it, but it's in Bloodborne. So I'll mention it when we get there. In a very long time from now, because it's in the DLC. But sixteen hours sounds sounds about right. Yeah. I like. Anyway, the dancer is just proving. I like. I don't want to do what I did for Pontiff, which is start uh, over, start make a new character from scratch, beat all the like beat everything up to him in like the span of a few days yep and then be stuck right back at him or the dancer well you could do what i do which was i didn't do it on purpose but uh the dancer is the second the third boss i beat in the game yeah due to online shenanigans that i was not the host of so you don't technically have to beat everyone you just have to beat the first boss I can go kill the dancer and skip half the game. Yeah. And be horribly underleveled. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I fucked up, uh, Grey Rat and I assume Patch's quest line. Because, um, Grey Rat was like, hey, you just found, uh, the Boreal Valley Mm -hmm. place. Uh, you want me to go? I want to go steal some stuff. And I was like, sure, it went well the last time. And I was like, wait a minute. Why isn't Grey Rat saying anything about uh, 
or not why isn't why isn't patches saying anything about gray rat anymore and then i beat uh pontiff i beat the i went down into the dungeons beat to the profane capital and beat the giant and then went back and beat aldridge still no gray rat yeah and patches wasn't saying shit so i took myself a sweep around found his corpse in the sewers and was like Oh, uh, like between just getting my ass handed to me by bosses and just losing Gray Rat, I just sat there going, "This game is destroying me." See, I feel pretty confident that you cannot naturally in one playthrough complete any one storyline because they're so convoluted. Um, as you you beat uh, Yorm. You might not have, because again, I had to follow a guide. Did you, uh, do shit? Did you do shit? Sigmire's quest. Yeah, I got him out of the well. Yeah. Um, I met him in the kitchen where he had some Estus soup for me. Yep. And then, um, I kind of derped around trying to beat, uh, Pontiff again, got pissed off. Went down into the, went down into the, cat not the catacombs but the profane capital, the, the dungeon in the profane capital. Mm-hmm. Which why you have a dungeon and then it going into the profane capital? I don't understand that at all. Yeah, like it just doesn't make sense to me. But, uh, yeah, no, I was just kind of derping around because I was trying to kill this the giant down in there and I couldn't. Like I was trying to find a easy way to get at him so he couldn't get at me there's ways to scum it oh yeah i i found a way <laughs> um but then i just found him sitting in the uh jail and i was like oh how's, how's it going sigward or sigward it's sigward or sigmeyer i don't know yeah and he was like oh thank you friend i have a dire or i have a promise to keep blah 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 and i was like okay that's cool buddy and then I delved further into the profane capital. And he was like, my promise must be upheld. And he just, like, we just end up killing the giant. And he's like, goodbye, old friend. Well, okay. that was the real question was, did you get to the fight with him? Because it's pretty good. Yeah. And I guess it's Sigward because I just looked it up. Yeah. It's a good question. Yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> and I was just sitting there going like, Grey Rat's dead, Sigward, Sigward, Sigwar, Sigwar? Sigward. Sigward's dead. I got two Storm Rulers. Uh, well, that was the other question was, did you beat the boss properly or not? Did I not beat him properly? Well, I didn't see you beat him. The proper way to do it is pick up the sword. Spoilers. Oh, yeah! You can pick up that sword during the boss fight and use oh, it against. Oh no! Him. I, I used I used my 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 great sword. Oh, then I imagine that fight was hell. <laughs> I mean, if Sigurd's there, it probably wasn't so bad. But no, you can use both of them against him at the same time. Okay, that sword drops when you you fight him, not after you beat him. Oh, it's a very easy boss fight if you pick up that sword first. That makes sense. Yeah. Good game. Yep. Um, other than that, I finally got some money from uh, the university I stayed at for a few months. So that's great. Well, I mean, really? Shouldn't have been there anyway. You ain't, you ain't no student. It was cheap. It was like $400. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. Had to break some kneecaps. Now, I, I know you say that, but I know what really happened was you emailed them and you would wait two weeks and go, man, I really like that money. <laughs> I really like <laughs> Old Gil really <laughs> likes some of that money. Uh, I completely lost it. Anyway, how was your two weeks? Uh, it's good. I, I watched some of the those hot movies. Saw Alien. Got into a fight with some people over that. Uh, I don't... I thought it was an okay sci-fi thriller. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a bad alien movie. And I say this as 
I don't know how this started, but there's some, like, hive mind assumption that I'm a huge Alien fan. And I think it's because anyone who's come into my apartment sees that I own the Quadrilogy box set. Yeah. I've only ever seen the first movie. Yeah. And I think it's neat. But that's it. Now, I've been meaning to watch the other three. But I never have. So, when I fight people on how good an Alien movie is... It's... I'm dead wrong about everything I say. But, I mean, it, it was okay. I didn't... It wasn't a great movie. Ridley Scott has proved that he should maybe stop. I think his last couple movies have all been kind of crap. He's gonna die soon anyway. Yeah. He's in his 70s. Where does Alien vs. Predator sit? Because that's the only one I've seen. And I kind of enjoy that. Like, in quality? Yeah. Or... or timeline because timeline i have no it's idea not, it's not canon oh, okay then perfect uh alien it's it's alien versus predator is not canon to the alien universe uh it's kind of its well own. in quality i think it's good because it's stupid yeah like if i was an actual movie critic would i give that movie a 10 no but as someone who just wants to be entertained for 90 minutes yeah it's good i mean there are some moments where the practical effects are fucking amazing. Sure. I, I don't really remember the movie that well. Okay. I mean, I remember scenes. And I, and, and I saw Wonder Woman. Which, uh, I walked away with minor spoilers. Uh, in the DCU, uh, Wonder Woman is a prequel yeah. to everything, everything that we've seen. Because it takes place in World War I. Um, but it sets up things. World War I? Yeah. Because they didn't want to be Captain America. Okay. And they just outright lied before the movie came out. They were like, I, we think World War I better, is a better comparison to today's society. Even though everyone calls Trump a Nazi and not a member of the Ottoman Empire. It was that, really just was to not be compared to Captain America. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, uh. What I, the biggest takeaway from Wonder Woman is uh, World War II is not canon in the DCU. It never happened. That is the takeaway. Oh? And that's all I'll say. Why is that? Because we go into heavier spoilers to explain why. But Wonder Woman told me that World War II had never happened. So... Which is weird, because it's a, it's a dark movie. You think they'd want it to have, like, World War II be super World War II. But there's still time. Maybe they do a Wonder Woman sequel and it takes place in World War II. But I don't see that happening. But as someone who knew uh, very little about Wonder Woman going in, I was entertained. I mean, easy bar to reach, but probably the best DC movie. Yeah. Um, they gave Wonder Woman some powers that uh, are not from the comics at all like Dragon Ball Z level energy blasts but eh whatever Green Lantern or Wonder Woman I've never seen Green Lantern oh but I feel pretty confident in saying Wonder Woman okay um, I played, we talked about this briefly, I tried a Killing Floor 2. Yeah. Because it went free. Um, now, I used to be a big Call of Duty guy. Yeah. Back in, uh, what I think most people would call its peak, which was Modern Warfare and uh, World at War. Uh, which is when zombies started. And I don't know how you can... Now, Killing Floor 2 is like a a year or two old at this point. But I don't know how you can make a game that's copying Call of Duty Zombies Mm -hmm. this late in time and have it be worse than the first one. It's terrible. Oh. Like, even visually, it's bad. But you can play as a cool alt chick, so... Oh, does she have a choker? She does. Oh, that's just (laughs) ticking all your boxes. Uh, other than that, more Kingdom Hearts. 
I like that game a little too much. Oh. Because I was like, cool, I beat it. Uh, can move on. Um, playing through it again. I'm doing like a a soft speed run. Okay. Uh, and I will. I've said it enough, and I, I probably will actually do it some Saturday morning. Just do a four hour stream. Run. The entire stream run, speed run. I don't know how long it'll take me. My goal is to just beat my personal best, which. I mean, I'm sitting of the people recorded. I'm in the top 100. Which is good, I guess, but I don't know how many people play it. It might be 101, in which case that's not so great. Yeah. But I've been watching some some tech. And, like, I'll never get super serious about a speedrun. Like, I'll never memorize the Japanese versions because the techs load faster in all Japanese versions of RPGs. I don't know why. They just do. And, like, I'm not going to worry about frame-perfect shit. Just, I just know the game really well. But that's been most of my week. Okay. Um, so, if you want to be real trash, what, what do you do? If you, if you just want to feel like a piece of garbage, what do you do? Depends on the time of day. Okay. But usually, it's get Putin. Okay, I should have... Almost always... Makes me feel terrible. Okay. I probably should have <laughs> expected that. Um, there's an anime series currently airing in this spring, almost summer series, mm-hmm. season, uh, called Euromanga Sensei. Okay. <laughs> this show is trash. I don't know anything about it. And I love it. That's fine. It's about an author. Mm-hmm. His parents are dead, I think. His, his, ado- like, starting off at an early age, his mother dot passed away. Mm-hmm. So his father remarried. And then something happened to the mother and father. They're out of the picture now. Um, but the new mother you know, uh, had her own daughter, so they're living together in this house. Oh, no, I know where this is going. Because you, you've never told me the name of this series, but you've told me about it. It's set in the same universe as How Can My Sister Be This Cute? Because I was watching an episode before you came in today mm-hmm. in which one of the characters showed up and I nearly had a mental breakdown. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't have been watching that show to begin with. They also made reference to SAO, Spice and Wolf, and a bunch of other A1 uh, productions. Yep. That movie, that the, the show is just... Is that the one I think it is? He, he writes... He writes porn? He No, no. He writes light novels, and his sister, quote-unquote sister, draws the the, uh, images for it. Now, is it half-sister or not not at all sister? Uh, Because if I was following along, they have completely different parents. They have completely different parents. Then it's totally fine. But she's like in elementary or middle, early middle school. How old is he? Like high school. It's fine. <laughs> but um, uh, seriously, it's kind of like a look at the indu- the the light novel industry. Mm-hmm. I mean, it probably doesn't get into the deep darks. It probably paints the light novel industry in a brighter light than it actually does. Much like, um. How can my sister be this cute? Really, kind of painted the animation industry, the manga, and the just otaku culture in general in a brighter light than it actually is. Like, well, I think it's because they need to put out things that make it seem like you'd want to go do it, yeah, rather than hey, 
here's the awful things that happen along with. I, I mean, like, I enjoy animation. And I assume you do too. Yeah. But if someone laid out the realities of it before I started working, I don't know if I would do it. Or I would l- at least heavily consider doing something else. Yeah. So yeah, gotta gotta spice it up a little bit for the shows. The one thing I did appreciate, um, how can my sister or Moro, whatever I can't remember the whole thing, but how can my sister be this cute? Did was they kind of explained anime anime seasons, mm-hmm. like usually bigger budget animes that they know are gonna do well. They're gonna aim for summer or. Uh, fall seasons and shows that they're not sure of that don't have the budget they aim for spring because everyone's kind of like it's it's it, it's 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 a cooling down period it's the anime it. catch-up time yeah i've watched all the shit you missed so uh the studios kind of g- not go into hibernation but kind of take breaks and kind of prepare for the next summer fall winter that's the kind of time to do it and you can kind of tell because there's not like other than hero academia um eromanga sensei sakura, sakura quest <laughs> there's really not a lot i'm wa- uh, like i'm watching i'm watching the berserk anime the second season of it yeah and it's a train wreck the entire way through, and I don't know why I watch it, but I think it's that whole train wreck mentality. You know it's awful, but you can't look away. Well, I think at the same time, it is berserk content. It is berserk content, and um, I was listening to Super Eye Patch Wolf, and um, he said a lot of the common defenses that of people that come to that anime are cinematography don't matter it does it kind of does <laughs> matter um another one was uh visuals don't matter debatable oh why is that i i think if you have a strong enough if you have strong enough writing i think the visuals can really take a shit and it'd be watchable okay but in a visual medium like anime no i still still think if you have real good writing and and you need good voice acting too yeah i think the visuals can take a hit okay and the third argument was it's better than nothing yeah i mean technically but at the same time, if you could pause the show so they have more time to work on something better, then maybe nothing is better. Yeah. But you, you wouldn't know if they'd be working on something else, so. Yeah. Anyway, that, that covers my anime talk for once. Um, took another break from anime. I haven't, haven't, <laughs> haven't been watching anything. Uh, but I did watch... F is for family. Oh, which or I should say that, the second season. That's the Bill Burr. Yeah, show. No. And now, Wait, which one's Brambleberry then? Brickleberry. Brickleberry. Daniel Tosh. Oh. Which I was one? wondering what he was doing. I, I said it yesterday. You are allowed to like any of those like uh, cartoons for an older audience, except for Brickleberry, and Bromwell High. <laughs> Brahma High was great. Um, I don't know. F is for Family is a show where I think I literally just watch it because I like Bill Burr. Yeah. Because in all honesty, I don't think it's that great. Like, there's some good jokes. There's some solid laughs, but they're so far between that I don't know if I'd actually recommend anyone watch it. Mm-hmm. Like, if you really want Bill Burr content, he, he, just... put, he puts out two podcasts a week. Just go Jesus. watch those instead. Um, oh, right. I guess this is more uh, weak talk than uh, 
news, so so I'll end with this. Um, after the marathon, mm-hmm. I, I took a little break for, from working out a little bit because I'm yeah. like, I, I earned this, a- and I was away for a week for reasons yeah. and wasn't going to work out then. And uh, but I kind of realized I, I might need to start going again. Because I was walking home from work on Friday. It was a very nice day. Yeah. I think. It was pretty nice, yeah. Okay. Then it was Friday. Um, I th- no? Maybe? I don't know. It was a very nice day. No, because Friday was that gross kind of... Might have been Thursday then. Yeah. Either way. Very nice day walking home from work. And, and when I realized, I was like, I should maybe start going to the gym again. Because I am, at heart, a fat person. I do very fat things. I'll have a chocolate bar and... Just dip it in cream cheese. Uh, I'll, I'll hide junk ro- junk garbage around my apartment so my roommate doesn't see it in the trash and know how much garbage I eat. I know for a fact I have a can of Coke hidden in my room right now. It's not even my Coke, it's hers. Jesus, Colin. <laughs> I just got home yesterday and I really needed a Coke. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so I was walking home and, uh, I saw some, something on the sidewalk and just naturally as I was walking by, I was looking at it and, uh, it looked like someone had spilled a a box of chocolates. Yeah. Couldn't see any box, but there was a, there's half a dozen chocolates glistening in that hot summer sun. God damn it, Colin. And... There was at least a second or two when I was like, there is no one who can see me right now. I could take those. They look pretty fresh. Street chocolates? I considered eating street (laughs) chocolate, and I was like, back to the gym. Jesus. So so that's where I'm at this weekend. And, And it doesn't help that, like, E3 makes me want to be garbage. Yeah. Because it, it's... It's it's the gamer week. It's it's the gamer Christmas. I got really excited about E3 yesterday. Oh? I, I don't remember it who said It was the EA it. content. Well, it, well the... it wasn't that in particular. It, it was uh, watching the co-optional. And I think it was something that... Uh, oh, yeah. I think it was something Laura Kate said. And she mentioned... She's like, it's just... Really cool to have one week a year where, ev- where everyone is talking about games. Yeah, and ev- no one's at each other. Well, not many people aren't naturally at each other's necks. It's They're- it's one week where almost everybody like, is like, yeah. Th- after the end of the week, there will be at least one thing that everyone's excited for. Yeah. So everyone will put aside the shitting on everything else for one week. It, it, it's like <laughs> that time in World War Two when Christmas came around. Yeah, and, and they just and Germany, the Allies, and the Axis just said, "Okay, we're gonna calm down. It's Christmas," and they just all kind of came together and shared gifts. And then the next day, they went just right back to shooting each other. Oh no, but... uh, no! I guarantee, next week rolls around, or hell, even Wednesday after the con. No, not even Wednesday. Tuesday for, for night. A, Tuesday afternoon, after Nintendo's done, I might just start yelling at somebody. But let's get let's get into the news. I think it's uh, shockingly mostly game news. Yeah, go figure. Oh, actually, another thing because I, I forgot this was a large portion of my week. If nobody, or I should say. If there's anyone like me who's heard this name float around, but just went, I don't really care. Look into Chris Chan and Sonic Chu. Please. God damn it. It absorbed my week of just documentary after documentary about that man. Um, parts of it are, are quite sad. But uh, boy, is it a it's a rabbit hole. Now, where did was this before or after I sent you all those? Uh... This was before. Okay. Because C- the the seed was planted 
last weekend when someone asked me if I had ever seen his penis. And I said, no. And they showed me it, and I was like, I need to know more. Because it's bent at a 90 degree angle. And I was like, this is a man I need to know things about. And so I did. And Oh, oh boy. But anyway, uh, gaming digital sales. Oh. Not as high as I would have thought. Oh? Well, the, the so-called, uh, like, all digital future... Is not as close as I would have assumed. So, uh, big AAA game comes out. What percentage of their sales do you think are digital? 25%. Actually, pretty spot on. Are you serious? You're not exact, but... You're, okay. But I'm close. You're within 2%. Really? Yes. It's 27. Okay. I would have assumed, for all this talk of this all digital future, I would have assumed at least close to 50 because then there's an argument if half yeah. your sales are digital. But it's still a quarter. No, it's people want to actually own... Technically, we don't own our consoles. No. But, uh... Like, my PS4 is sitting there, but I don't own it, technically. Now, I'm sure some games... I'm sure every game's a little different. But this was uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. You know, pretty... I mean, it was a big game this year. Yeah. And it... 27% uh, of their sales were digital. And I think you can assume that every other AAA release is pretty similar, give or take, like, 5%. So, uh, suck on that, digital people. I'm going to keep my games longer. Because yeah. it sounds like they're not going away anytime soon. No, it's... It, it, it's People want to actually own things. It's kind of like uh, when you buy music off of iTunes. You're not buying the music. You're buying a license that says you can download the music. That license is digital. That license can be deleted, can be removed, can be altered. So you don't have that music anymore. So yes, you are putting money down on that thing, but you're not actually owning it. That's why I still have a shit ton of CDs. But I mean, at the, at the same time, though, like if your disc breaks, then you don't own it either. Yeah. You'd have to buy it again. Yeah. Which some of these are impossible. Like, we, there are some CDs up there that I don't think, I've never heard of a band. <laughs> There's one that's just some sort of weird rock opera about some, just, I have no idea. Is it Repo? No. Do you have the Repo soundtrack? No, it's not. It's, like, I couldn't tell you. Now, now when was the last time you bought a CD? Um, Amonamar's latest CD. Um, okay, so pretty recently. This one. As Duncan continues to forget that this is an audio show. Yeah. Unfortunately, mm, the CD's not in there. It's I in, I think, my parents' car. I was looking for a date on it. It says 2016, so that's pretty yeah. recently. Uh, but, okay. I mean, it's kind of hard to buy a CD right now where... HMV's closed. Well, we're pretty similar then, because I have also, within the last year, bought two or three CDs. Um, and, you know, get, you know, gotta support people. Yeah. And uh, I don't like dealing with iTunes, mm. so I, d I don't buy the music there. I'll buy their CD. Um, but yeah, I, I think owning too many physical things is definitely starting to become a problem for me. Like, I, I definitely own too many. Like, when you have a shelf and you fill it up, that's when you start going, maybe I got too much. Well, I mean... Well, you have more shelf more shelf space than I do. Yeah. But most of yours is books. Manga. To be fair. Like, this is... Uh, art books, gaming books, book books, book novels. It's... Well, there, okay, there's four sections of book, three of manga, and one of comics. <laughs> and then some comics over there. Um, but yeah, I, I was happy to hear that, because I, I do get... I, I am one of those people who wants the physical thing. Yeah. And I, I get a little worried when people are like, oh, it's coming all digital. And, like, the biggest thing is, like, hard drives fill up pretty quick. Yeah. As games get bigger and bigger... Like, even though I own, well, I guess 
with physical games you still have to install them so it takes up parts of the hard drive but still yeah but still you have that disc you can delete the data off your ps4 yeah and then or and then you still have the disc that you can reinstall anytime just back up the save da- data uh other than that uh in a, in a terrible segue uh the first ever a video game was qualified now now the headline was misleading so i'm glad i read the article um, I don't know how the Academy Awards and the Oscars and all that stuff work, but I guess you have to, a panel or something looks at everything and then just sends you a letter saying you've qualified. Um, so for the first time ever, a video game trailer has qualified to be nominated for an Oscar. What? Now, if you were to guess which trailer, now obviously it's for these coming Oscars, so it means it's come out within the last year. What game do you think it would be? Now, this isn't the first time a, a game has gotten this level of recognition. Uh, the Journey soundtrack, I believe, won a Grammy. Or, or some big music award. I don't remember which. Or maybe it was nominated. Either way. Um... I'm gonna say. I don't know. I was gonna say The Last of Us, but that came out like years ago. Years ago. Uh, I would have assumed you would guess Death Stranding. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, but that's wrong too. Okay. Uh, it's an indie game. It's called Everything. No. The every the twelve minute no. the twelve minute everything launch. You mean trailer, that one where it's the like animals the just animals flip. just yep. Do, oh, okay. that trailer has been nominated, or is, has qualified to be nominated for best animated short film for an Oscar. So it's it's the Oscars are just garbage now. Like or ha- it's it's not. Like speculation anymore. The Oscars are trash. I still like them. I still like the Oscars. I I check the winners every every year. Um, no. Well, look. If you've never seen the trailer, it is something else. Uh, I mean, it starts very deep in philosophical of like the origin yeah. of life and blah blah blah, and then it just cuts to these animals rolling around at ninety degrees uh-huh. at a time. It's rolling pretty funny. Rolling at the speed of sound. <laughs> Got places to go. <laughs> so uh, I figured we'd have to, you know, give a shout out to that because it's, it's never been done. Um, now, outside of that, I just got a whole shit ton of uh, E3 talk uh, because one of the conferences has taken place between then and recording. Yeah. So, EAs. so we'll we'll talk about the rest probably next week, but we can talk about EAs because there was quite a bit to talk about. Uh, first off, there was two games I was looking forward to see. Neither of them were there, so bad, 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 bad conference for me. Okay. Because neither of the games I was looking forward to were were shown. Um, but what was shown? Uh, just a quick rundown was um. They shot off some Battlefield 1 DLC, Need for Speed Payback, uh, A Way Back, Anthem, and Battlefront 2. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something there, but it doesn't look like it. So, when you said Need for Speed, mm-hmm. first, my first thought is, one, always online, and two, once the game isn't popular anymore, they shut down the servers right away so no one can play it. Sure. I mean, I'll I'll admit to being pretty unaware of anything Need for Speed related. I don't know. It just I think that's something that EA had done with, uh, or that someone had done with a racing game. Like I don't know if it was the crew or I think the crew's still going. 
but um, I th- no, I think it was Need for Speed, but they weren't. Mm, it wasn't that popular anymore. So instead of keeping, instead of just having it, so you could play like where it was online on, online all the time, they shut down the servers and no one could play the game anymore. Yeah, well, that's the problem with always online games. Is yeah. they do eventually at some point become unplayable. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the game looked fine. It looked like a racing game. Well, this has some kind of plot to it. They've had a plot since uh, I think Need for Speed Underground. I never played anyway. Because in Need for Speed, in those it's usually it's usually you know Fast and Furious. You're an F, you're an undercover agent or a snitch for the FBI or the CIA. Well, this, uh, it kind of seemed like they wanted to do cool action movie stuff, but also only ever have you drive cars. Yeah. Because I I guess this does sort of like a Grand Theft Auto thing where there's three people you play as, and it showed, like, them pull up alongside a car, and one guy, the guy you were playing as, jumps off to, I don't know, fight crime or some shit. I wasn't paying super close attention. And then you just take control of the other person in the car, so you just keep driving. And I was like, well, that's kind of boring. Yeah. Um, I-, I think if you were to do an actual Fast and the Furious X you know, like kind of game, it could be pretty cool. Where it's heavily focused on driving, but there's cool action segments outside of the car as well. I don't think that's ever been done. I couldn't tell you. I mean, the only thing I can think of is, like, there's cool driving segments in non-driving games, but yeah, I don't think there's ever been cool action segments in a driving game. But it was pretty, eh. Just like the, uh, the Battlefield 1 DLC was, eh. New maps for a game that neither of us play. Yep. Um, Anthem. Are you want to go into Anthem? Yeah, let's go. This is the Bioware new yes. IP? Okay, because I got, I got a lot to say about Anthem. Okay. Now... Give me a rundown. Have you seen the trailer yet? No. Okay, you're not missing anything. <laughs> it's very short. Uh, now, I, I wrote down some specific things that I specifically want to say. Um, so, they shut off Bioware's new game. It uh, It's definitely a teaser. It wasn't a trailer. Okay. It showed, um, you know, a lush jungle kind of setting, uh, and it showed some people talking about some wall that is their last line of defense, and then showed some people in some power suit armor, and then a big monster yells, and that's it. That's it? Yes. Now, the joke yesterday that I was talking about with someone is uh, you can't get busted for bad facial animation if there's no faces. Uh huh. Um. But it was a, it was a bad announcement, because it showed nothing, which normally is fine. If you just show nothing, that's. I mean, it's not. I don't want to say fine, but teasers exist. It's yeah. to tease you for something that's coming eventually. I'm not against teasers, but the way this one was done, it was a teaser followed by. Come watch the full trailer tomorrow at Xbox's conference. And I was like, but EA, we're watching your conference to watch your games. Yeah. And this is your game, and you're telling us to go watch another conference to see it. Now, I'm going to watch Microsoft's conference, but they should have either shown Anthem at EA's conference. Yeah. Or... Only at Microsoft's. <laughs> Not at both. Oh, Jesus, Bioware. Is it Montreal working on this? No, I, 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 I believe it's Edmonton. So the Bioware proper. Well, maybe we might get a finished game. But uh, from the very little that it shows, it looks like third-person RPG shooter. Mass Effect. Yeah. Probably less exploration. Maybe that's what it needs. Maybe like maybe that's what instead of making it an open world game, just an like a corridor shooter. Yeah. 
like do what you know not try and make a game that you half ass now I don't remember when this took place but at some point EA started jerking off how good the Scorpio is and they're like oh I think it was during uh, NFL okay or Madden I guess um they were saying like oh yeah with the Scorpio like game can be so good it can be so good Scorpio's great Scorpio's amazing and it's just a weird thing to say when the Scorpio hasn't been technically revealed yet well weren't they I'm I thought at one point there was people saying that uh, when the Scorpio does come out it'll be more powerful than current uh... oh no it, it will be the, the uh, they did an interview with Digital Foundry and, and like all of the specs are out okay but that's some niche shit for some like like console gamers don't pay attention to specs that's a PC thing yeah um so the community as a whole still really don't know what Scorpio is because it hasn't had a conference in which it was shown. Okay. So to have someone come on stage and be like, so there's this console that you guys probably haven't heard of. It's really good. It's just a weird thing to say when no one's seen it. Yeah. Uh, now the be best game of the show was a way out, which I sent you the trailer. Cause I'd mentioned okay, that. that couch co-op yes uh... so it's made by now this game looks totally different than what i would have assumed given the developer so it's a new studio called haze light but it's the same team that made uh, brothers a okay. tale of two sons yeah which that game is like a sort of over the top puzzle game i guess uh so i would have assumed something similar Mm -hmm. But this game is, uh, you play as two people who are breaking out of jail. Yeah. So one guy's been in there for a while. He knows how things go. One guy's new and already wants out because, you know, it's prison. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, you know, the cool thing about the game is specifically designed for couch co-op. So it being designed for that and it being a smaller studio, the graphics aren't great. They're a little dated. Yeah, they look nice. But it's, I think it's so it can run split screen. Yeah. Uh, because to anyone who doesn't know, that's why games don't really have it anymore. Games look too nice to be able to run it twice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it looks super cool. Um, and I told Duncan, if for whatever reason this channel is still running... When that game comes out, we will play it because uh, I will want to play through that game with somebody if it's meant to be played in co-op. Yeah. And then the big daddy was uh, Star Wars Battlefront, which had such a hurrah. Like, it showed a ton of tweets being like, yo, is it going to get story mode? Is it going to get story mode? I'm like, it's a weird thing to show when they've already confirmed it's going to have a story. Like, it was very much hyping the story mode reveal, but they revealed it months ago. Yeah. Um, and they didn't even really show anything about it. It was all multiplayer stuff, and... You know, I liked the first game. Enough. The first... New generation? Yes, the first okay. new one. I mean, I like the old ones, too. Yeah. But... They did a... It's very, very poor. I don't know what they were thinking. Back to Back did a pre-rendered gameplay segment mm -hmm. that was clearly fake, as it, A, looked amazing, and B, some for some reason, the gameplay didn't have any HUD. <laughs> I wonder why. It's because it was fake. Uh, and literally, back to Back, they were like, that game looks really cool, doesn't it? Now let's watch some gameplay, even though we just apparently watched gameplay. But this was a real live match. Yeah. And so now this game with that... a whole bunch of YouTubers, famous YouTubers. A few, but they didn't say a word. Okay. It was uh... because I always love that when uh, companies get famous YouTubers to all play on a team, and you're sitting there listening to them. 
either going A, who is this person, or B, why aren't they talk why aren't they talking like they normally do? Well, so this all of the like Battlehorn players that they brought on didn't say a word. They just mm-hmm. played the game. But they had uh, three people, one being I Justine, do shout casting. And that was it was not good. Because uh... I don't think they were controlling the camera of like whose screen we're watching. Yeah. So like they'd be in the middle of talking about something and the camera would change and suddenly it's not even remotely relevant. It's not super well put together. But yeah, the the back to back fake gameplay and real gameplay made this game that looks good. It's a good looking game, made it look terrible. Because it wasn't as good as the fake footage we literally just saw. Yeah. But Yo Yo Yoda's in in the game. All oh boy Yoda. <laughs> Everybody likes Yoda. So with EA's done, we have Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, Ubisoft, Bethesda, Devol- Bethesda, Devolver Digital. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Now I'm curious. I'm curious about pretty much everybody's. Yeah. Because, um, as I said before, I'm a I'm just Sony fans where I play my game. So I'm always excited to see them. Yeah. Microsoft's in a super interesting place because we don't know anything they're doing. And they seem oddly, <laughs> oddly obsessed with Nintendo and the Switch. Um, Nintendo's in a similar boat other than Mario. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't know what they're doing. Um, I personally don't care about Bethesda, but... They said that they're going to be showing off a, like a, something that's not Fallout and not Elder Scrolls. They might also show those things. I don't know. But mm. they're going to show... I mean, it also was already leaked that there's going to be a Wolfenstein sequel. So I think that'll be with them. Uh, so I'll be down, down to see that. And Devolver is always... I don't know. They make cool indie games. Yeah. Uh, but they, they tweeted out this morning. Uh, someone put out a tweet. Wow, I hope the rest of the conferences aren't as bad as EA's, because a lot of EA's weren't, it was not very good. A lot of jokes just... Fell flat. Yeah, and like that awkward fell flat where the guy, oh. they would just look at the camera and be like, clearly waiting for an applause, and they would just say, okay, and they would just keep talking, pretending it didn't happen. Uh, and Devolver Digital responded with, hold my beer. God bless Devolver Digital. <laughs> Um, but because I didn't say the two games I wanted to see from EA and and why personally I was a little let down is I said it before Battlefront looks good so I I'm not but we've already seen the game so I can't give it credit for showing a game we've already seen I wanted to see the new Star Wars RPG that they've confirmed they're working on Mm -hmm. uh, by uh the dead space developer okay and um written by the girl who wrote uh, uncharted 1 2 and 3 so i i want to see that game yes i like uncharted oh i thought this was gonna go into the argument I, like i was just remembering the arguing you had with anthony at the party that one time oh on if she wrote uncharted 4 yeah. or not don't fight me on Uncharted knowledge. And then the, there was that one guy. Like, there must have been a couple parties going on, but he just heard you guys yelling about Uncharted. There was a knock at our door, and he's like, Hey, is this where the party's at? And we're like, Who the fuck are you? Uh, and, and the other thing was a game I was just playing last night. Uh, I was... Because as far as I know, the game is confirmed, but we haven't seen a trailer or anything talked about it. They just said, yes, we are making another one, uh, which was a uh, UFC 3. Solid. Okay. Well, well I mean, look. I- Why not pick up a real fighting game? Like Skullgirls or Tekken 7. I'm conflicted about Tekken 7. Oh. That is some hitbox porn. I don't know if you've seen some of the GIFs. Woo! 
I'll show you one in a minute. Okay. Uh, it is oh, always good. It's real good. Uh, but no, well, I mean, I said it before, I'm a, I'm a fan of the UFC. Yeah. And uh, I am endlessly entertained with uh, making my own shitty fighter and just playing I was going to say, uh, you showed me that picture of that custom fighter you made look trying to base just off your mental image of me and ooh see what i forgot until last night because last night i made another new character okay uh i'm on my like eighth or ninth now uh i made diana prince last night so that's who i have been playing as because i'm a dork now that one actually looks decent compared to the one i made of you okay but i forgot because it's an ea sports game it has game face so i can just take a picture of you and slap it on a model and i might kind do of like that. the uh the little me's yep oh jesus i'm gonna try doing that are you gonna use the uh photoshop of uh the free duncan's free swim club no i'll dig through the pictures on my phone i know i got one of you somewhere uh, so I'm curious to see how that'll turn out. But yeah, I mean to basically drown you out for a second. I, I think there have been drown me five out. UFC games yeah. or six if you count the one for Dreamcast. Yeah, what? yeah. There's one UFC for Dreamcast. Go, UFC goes that far <laughs> back. Yeah, it started in the early '90s. Wow. Um. Got some history. So the first three for were THQ, and yeah. now the last two were EA. I still think the first THQ one was the best of all of them, <sighs> and I don't know what their fucking problem is. Like, they got it right. I don't know what they're doing. Because this one, the online was like, oh, better get your card packs. And, like, I'm... Look, the, the crossover between people who would play a UFC game mm -hmm. and want to deal with RPG, like, card stats very different people yeah and like like even i don't want to deal with that i i heard uh, battlefront 2's got a card system and i'm like now i like that game much less because well i mean i just want to play yeah it's uh something they can monetize yeah well no exactly where i prefer my shooters to be like overwatch in the sense that it's entirely skill based. Yeah. It's just play the game. But this one, if you if you're a whale and you can man and you can afford to drop a couple hundred on some cards, maybe you'll get something good. Hey. I don't know. It's it's like the president of Take Two was like. We could monetize Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead a lot more, but our player base would know. They wouldn't know, but they'd feel it. And it's like, thanks a lot. Thanks for telling me I'm basically retarded. <laughs> it's like... And then I just sit there and I was like, I'll still play your games. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, so uh, I'm all out of news... But there is more things I can talk about. Okay. One, uh, last night uh, in our you know group chat of our circle of friends, I had a meltdown about Kingdom Hearts 3 still not existing. Okay. I'm going to have to check this out because I don't remember it at all. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty calm, but I, I was complaining. And uh, it, it got a trailer that dropped... In the wee hours of the morn here. And, uh... Is that the boiling point? To no, video? no. I'll get into that in a second. Okay. Um... Oh, the game looks so good, Duncan. <laughs> and it ended with that beautiful, beautiful no release date. Oh. <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> but... So... Kingdom Hearts uh, continues to exist, I guess, with no release date. Okay. Uh, now, that it, it says, hey, come watch our trailer at uh, D23. That one better have a release date. 
D23. That's what uh, Disney's expo was called. Oh. I don't know why. I think it's because they don't, they have 23 things. I assume. 23 years? No, they're, Disney's older than 23. Well, I mean, tw- since the conference started. Or maybe? No, because it's always called D23. Okay. Then I have no idea. Um... Right, the, the, the Boiling Point video. So, everyone I know is familiar with this, either because they found it with me, or I forced them to watch it. Mm-hmm. The Important Videos Playlist. Now, I'll have you know that last night Uh I found the important videos playlist number two. Mother of Which was another multiple hundred long playlist. Uh Uh-huh. And I just uh, giggled giggled to myself in my bed until the wee hours of the morning in which I sent multiple people different videos saying, please help me. Oh, so that's <laughs> where that uh, Nico Nico Ni... Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Not as strong as the original uh, important videos playlist, but there's some gems. Oh. There is certainly some gems. Um... But other than that, I, I want to just do a quick talk about Guardians of the Galaxy. Because I, I was reading... The comic or the... The, the comic. Okay. Uh, I was reading uh, just a, like a mini-series. Just five, it was just five issues yeah. of this uh, event called Mother Entropy. Yeah. And uh, it might have one of my favorite comic book drawings of all time. Because at some point in the story... Star Lord and Groot switch bodies. Okay. And in the middle of a bar fight, it just has Star Lord standing in the middle with the dumbest expression on his face, just saying, I am Groot. And it, I don't know, something about it just killed me. But uh, anyone curious, uh, save your time. D- don't read it. it uh, is this the one where Drax a monk now? And no, that is, that, is, that is the all new Guardians. Oh. Um, this one, I don't know. Like, I assume this is canon to the old series. Mm-hmm. But uh, I figured where it's like a one-off. Um, because the entire events are undone at the end. You doesn't matter where you put it yeah. in the timeline. So they introduce this new villain called Mother Entropy, who is this giant moss-covered pregnant woman. Uh, who is the strongest thing ever Yeah, and can kill everything and do everything and is uh, eventually killed very easily. Oh. And there's a l- little bit of a letdown. So, uh... Was it as bad as the, uh... It's a dance-off. It was worse. Or it's a distraction kind of thing. Uh, so basically... Like, like name any Marvel character, she killed them. He, like... Galactus, dead. Well, I mean, Galactus has died a few times. Silver Surfer, dead. Entire planet's gone. She's very strong. Deadpool? Wolverine? Didn't show Deadpool, but I I imagine... Everyone on Earth is dead. Oh. Ooh. Uh, The the Skrull planet? Dead. Dead. Silver Surfer, dead. Thanos? Dead. What? Yeah. Thanos died, too. She killed everybody. And then it's just completely undone? Yeah, because uh, group punched her. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. No special powers? Nope. No Super Saiyan charge? Okay, so her, her powers aren't really clear, because she herself never fights. Mm-hmm. But She just has the power of entropy. Well, what she can do is when she kills somebody... Mm-hmm. She basically 
and if she uses them as the new mother, which this is a character I remember from, uh, I don't remember where, but there's a character called Pip. He's a little imp. Yeah. Who has the, uh, just the ability, uh, similar to, I guess it's more like, uh, the teleporting in Jumper, where if you can visualize it, you can go there. Yeah. And... Kind of like Nightcrawler. So, she picks Pip as the new mother, and then she, and then everyone else part of her, like, mother cult thing can now all gain the ability to just travel whenever or wherever they want. Okay. So she's a legitimate threat and her powers are if she's just around you and you breathe, you die. It's very boring. A little bit, yeah. And uh, it just doesn't kill Groot because uh, Groot doesn't die. He doesn't breathe. Well, he doesn't breathe into the traditional sense. He's a tree. Yeah. Um... So he literally just, uh, like, basically, it's a little more theatrical, but basically just reaches into her and breaks a stone, and then it undoes everybody's death, making the entire event meaningless. Everyone who died is immediately brought back to life. That's happened a lot. Like, that happens a lot in comics, where it's just everything's undone well i'm glad i bought the entire thing first before reading any of it because if i were to have waited weeks reading each issue at a time i would have been furious with that ending but where i sat down and read it all at once was 40 minutes of my day ruined oh well not a big deal uh, now, if you can't tell, I'm just trying to pad this out because we are way under time. Really? And I've run out of things to talk about. We're, we're that under time? Like, yes. We're, we're, we're still shy about 20 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> Did we get any mail? Of course not. Oh. Do we want to do a hypothetical? No. Okay, so what I meant to do, because I, I said there was something I wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, but I just was too lazy is because this is the sex cast sex cast 17 uh, you know it's our podcast sweet sweet 17 uh, isn't it sweet 16 it is yeah we kind of dropped the ball there a little bit it's our sexy 17th birthday no don't do that uh, I was gonna look up a bunch of uh, sex questions on yahoo answers and then we just give our own answers uh, to the questions. Okay. Because this is the sex show. Power Sex Sex Cast. Episode 16, Gone Sexual. God damn it. That isn't going to be the title, is it? Oh, it sure oh, is. Jesus. We're not going to be able to monetize it. Oh, no. Huh. The videos I don't monetize won't be monetized. That's a damn shame. How will we ever get sponsorships and ads? Uh, I think... I don't remember who I was watching the other day who talked about monetizing videos, but I, I don't think it's something I want to do mm. until we get at least... And this number is still very small. 100 subscribers. Yeah. I think that's a, a, a fine enough time. Because then at that point... It's not just people we know. Yeah. Uh, when right now there's only a, a few who we don't know, which I don't know where they're at because every video we put out does not get 14 views. I don't know why. <laughs> you'd think if you're, if you're going out of your way to subscribe to such a small channel, you'd think you'd actually like the content. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Yeah. Whatever happened to talk about the uh, I Kill Giants movie? I'm probably dead. That's a shame. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad. Because there's no way they would... Uh... There's no way they'd just be able to turn that into a decent movie. Uh, well, let, let me just pull it up here. 
Uh, welcome to episode seven, episode seventeen, Killing Time. Uh, well, it, it, I mean, it has a cast. Really? But I, I remember it had. I mean, it's had a cast forever. Yeah. Yeah, it just says release date to be announced this year. Oh. But, and we're halfway through the year, and it doesn't have an actual date. It's not this year. Hmm. Or highly unlikely, anyway. Oh. Principal photography began on September of last year. Really? So that movie's not coming out. What a surprise. But I, I, I ain't got nothing else. I, I find it baffling that uh, on the weeks where we skip a week, we every time we've skipped a week have less to talk about. We're not interesting people. Yeah, but you'd think if we're gone for two weeks, we'd have twice as much to say. Where every time in reality we've had less. Yeah. So I googled the uh, common sex questions. Oh, good. Good. You're on the ball. Um, first one. How can I make my dick bigger? Typically, an erection helps. <laughs> Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but this is the, at best, difficult, closer to impossible, and in most cases, unneeded. Now, Duncan, I'm a size queen. Mm-hmm. It's very needed. Uh, n- now, now here, here's a random question. Have you ever seen... Uh, th- there's... I'm sure there's a few. Uh, but th- there's some there's some guys... There's some fellas in porn mm-hmm. with, with cl- clearly fake dicks. Um, because they're uh, like two feet. And l- look plastic. Yeah. They make me feel uncomfortable. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you know this. My dick is not two feet. Thank God I wouldn't be able to wear these stylish shorts. (laughs) Come on, Diane. I, I, I need more hot sex questions. Can a witch heal my penis dysfunction? (laughs) (laughs) You found this under common questions? (laughs) Oh, jeez. Alright, so... uh, I'm gonna... No, okay. How many bones are in the male penis? Zero. <laughs> How do babies come out of the a vagina? You eat a lot of butter and <laughs> the baby slips out. <laughs> How do I retract my penis? How am I sure I'm the real mom to my kids? <laughs> I mean, I mean, typically, they've shot out of you. Is a good way to know. I want to have ear sex. How can it be done? That makes me uncomfortable. Okay, so I mentioned this on the, on the last podcast that I, that I had something stuck in my ear, and it. I've been dating my psychologist, and he likes to hear my thoughts. I thought I... I mean, that sounds like what a psychologist should do. <laughs> my, th- my sympathies, he's that small. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
submerged my penis and testicles in a whole cup of Tabasco sauce. Hurts. Ellipses. A lot. Exclamation mark. Help. Question mark. (laughs) Do penises grow back? Oh. Oh no. Are girls able to get erections? Yes. Kind of. Fun fact. There are two parts of the body that get erect. Do you know the other? Are we talking male or female? Either. Mm. Both have two. Nipples? Nose. When you have a cold, your nose is, is biologically getting an erection. Sex doctor told me that. It's one of those things where I never looked into it myself. I'm just <laughs> taking it at face value. Is it okay to touch yourself when you hear your parents having sex? We've all been there. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What are the effects of excessive masturbation? Blindness and hairy palms. And depending on how excessive, a very raw penis. Yep. Can confirm. Well, that was a train wreck. Are we about done here? Now, you say train wreck, but uh, uh, that was our best material, Duncan. What, me just looking up weird sex questions on Yahoo Answers? Yep. That's kind of sad. That's kind of really sad. Well, uh, I don't know if you've listened to an episode. Doesn't take much. But wow. we're close enough to to the the ninety mark. Um. Yeah, if 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 you wanna send uh some sex questions to the Power Sex Sex Cast, uh, send an email to. Uh, sex at sexmail.sex That probably is a, an email. We don't look. Uh, but uh, I if, wouldn't be surprised if it was. If you want them to actually be answered by us, your email is better sent to uh, powermoosepodcast at gmail.com uh, You can follow our Twitters, which are incredibly uneventful Mm. i mean unless you want to hear me talk about you know how the pontiff is kicking my ass in dark souls 3 or you know me finding my childhood yo-yo uh duncan is ah fuck i always forget a pen gray a pen gray a y e y E-Y. E-Y. I, I assume... E-Y. I think it's I think A-Y. It, I, yeah, I think it's A-Y, too. Uh, I, I'm Metal Gear Whale. Uh, yes. You can watch us on Twitch if you want, um, but we don't stream enough that we're ever going to get partnered, so uh don't really care yep. if you do or not. But you should watch the uploads on YouTube, because I care much more about that. Uh, my recommendation, because I, because I, because I tweeted about this okay. last night, is uh, one of my favorite movies of last year, uh, and one of the best movies. I don't want to say ever, but I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, is now on Netflix. Uh, oh, Moonlight. So people should go watch Moonlight, because that's a good old film. Hey kids, hey kids, you wanna watch some anime? Go, go, go watch your Euro, ma- Euro Manga Sensei. Come be, come, 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 come in the dumpster with me. It's okay. Give Duncan your cummies. <laughs> <laughs>